Kent Milleferche, a thousand welcomes to a Celtic enchantment, where for the next wee while we will go to the place where peat is found in bogs, cut in square chunks, placed in a peat stack outside a small white cottage, later to be burnt in the hearth, and where heather stretches its purple hue away from the cottage door, off into an over a hill horizon. We will hear the sounds of waves on shore and the cry of gulls. We are on the far western edge of Scotland, on sea, windswept islands and highland parts of the mainland. In 1905, to one of these Hebridean islands, the island of Erishkay, Marjorie Kennedy Fraser journeyed. It was a form of time travel, for as she later commented, I sailed out of the 20th century back at least to the 17th. On this enchanted island of Erishkay, Kennedy Fraser began her collection of Gaelic language songs, thousands of years old, belonging to the rich Celtic culture of her ancestors. was introduced to the Scottish Gaelic custom, Cayley. Here, the whole community, from youngest to oldest, would cram into the designated Cayley house to gather round the peat fire. Singers and storytellers would endlessly spin out songs and stories of other world beings, the gods of Celtic mythology, mermaids, doomed lovers, water campus. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Ida du vil, Ida la du har om, Ida la du vil, strus i min kajaken. Ida la du vil, Ida la du har om, Ida la du vil, strus i min kajaken. Rojke kan du lagt, Isom så skär den ur. Rojke kan du lagt, strus i min kajaken. Rojke kan du lagt, Isom så skär den ur. Rojke kan du lagt, strus i min kajaken. Ida la du vil, Ida la du har om, Ida la du vil, strus i min kajaken. Ida la du vil, Ida la du har om. Ida la du vil, strus i mina kajaken Gata kan draga, isan så ska den ur Gata kan draga, strus i mina kajaken Gata kan draga, han så ska den ur Gata kan draga, strus i mina kajaken Ida la du vil, Ida la du har om Ida la du vil, strus i mina kajaken Ida la du vil, Ida la du har om Ida la du vil, strus i mina kajaken Some of the tales in the Cayley house were about the water kelpie. The most terrible and feared supernatural being in Gaelic and Celtic lore. To men, this being appeared as a huge black monster of such horror that they were haunted ever after. To beautiful young women, the Kelpie appeared as a handsome young man with blonde hair and laughing eyes. Oh. 